In today's video, we're checking out the Light Keeper from Tube Stetter. This is a tube booster and light overdrive pedal, handmade and designed in Canada. Now, while this is based on the tones of the Dumble, it also offers some really great higher gain tones as well. Technically, this is a lower gain pedal, but if you wind up the gain and click in the boost, you can really push the front end of your amp. So, while it is a boost and a light overdrive pedal on a dead clean tone, you can definitely push this a whole lot more. In this video, I'm going to show you how it sounds in the intro track going directly into my Marshall DSL 40CR. Let's get into it. Here's the pedal up close. Now, before we get into this, I just want to let you know that Tubestead have sent this out for the review. They're not paying me to produce this video or to say any favorable things about it, nor do they get to preview this video ahead of time. So all thoughts about this will be my own and I'll give you my thoughts about it at the end of this video. The first thing you'll notice is we get a real 12AX7 tube in the center right here, and this is covered up and protected via these metal bars. So I really like that. I love the fact you can still see it as well. Now, this is powered by its own 12 volt, 300 milliamp DC power supply, and that comes with the pedal as well, which is really great. It also came with all the different connections for different countries around the world. Like most overdrive or boost pedals, we get a volume and gain control over here as well. We also get a three band EQ, which is very, very musical. Whether you're playing a Strat or humbuckers, you can definitely get enough top end to satisfy just about anyone. Or if you wanna get more of those classic dumbbell tones, you can turn down the treble and it will do that without any issues. Two of the most powerful options on this pedal are the boost and mid control. So the mid control is the mid range shift and we can either turn this on or off completely or have it turn on and off thanks to the foot control switch over here. So we're gonna assign it to off always, so no matter when we turn the pedal on or off, or if we click this button, it won't activate. But if we want it on, we can go into the FC position. This boost switch is a game boost that bypasses the EQ stack. So you can have this off, controlled by the foot switch, or on all of the time. So it gives you a great selection of ways to run this pedal, whether or not you're playing rhythm or lead, you might want one or both, or you might love your lead tone, then you just want to kick on a boost. So overall, this works really well. 
A massive thank you to the guys from Tubesteader for sending this out for the review. I really appreciate it. If you want to find out more about this, links to it will be in the description below. Let's get into it. All right, let's kick it off today. I'm playing my Fender American Original Stratocaster. This is all stock going into my Marshall DSL 40 CI amplifier on the clean channel. This is the clean tone on neck pickup with the pedal currently off. pedal on I've got the mid and boost currently off so this is just the pedal with the drive tone Let's crank up the gain to about one o'clock or two o'clock. Let's give this a shot. This is still neck pickup. Bluesy overtone over the bridge. And now with the volume control down, we'll see how much it cleans up on bridge pickup. Now with the volume control back up, let's have a listen to the difference. Let's take a look at the mid-boost function on the pedal now. I've currently got it set to the FC setting on this side, which means I can turn it on and off thanks to the left-hand side button. So this is with it off so you can hear the difference. Neck pickup. Now with the mid-boost on. Now we're going to notice this the most is when you get over to the bridge pickup and you crank on the mid boost, you're going to cut through the mix like nobody's business. So let's give it this a shot now. I'll just play some lead bits here with it off so you can hear the difference. I'm actually just going to crank the gain up a little more. So this is bridge pickup. <laughs> Mid boost on. So that's bridge pickup and it sounds super fat in the room here. So if you're looking for a little bit of extra oomph in your solo tones, you can get it from that mid switch. Over to my PRS SE Custom 24 loaded with some humbuckers and we're going to test out the boost section of the pedal now on the left hand side. So this is currently set to off. This is neck pickup. Now have a listen to the difference with this on. Got it set to the FC spot again so as I click it on it now becomes active.
next, I've got the boost control already enabled, and then I click in the mid boost so you can run them both at the same time. Have a listen to this. Yeah. And now on on this side, I've just switched the switch down. Here we go. Before we get to the EQ section of the pedal, I thought I'd show you just how it sounds with the gain and everything else cranked up. So the gain's all the way basically up at about three o'clock. Here we go, it's bridge pick up. Up next, we're gonna test out the EQ section of the pedal. I put everything back to 12 o'clock, so this is how it sounds flat. Neck pick up. All right, let's crank up the high end a little bit more to about two o'clock, and it brings in quite a lot more high end. Nice. Let's take out the mids and bring up the bass. Have a listen to this. So you can definitely hear a lot more low end come in on the signal and with that mids boost gone, you're really lacking what you need in the mix. So I like to have the bass down, mids up just a little bit, and you can really push the treble if you want a really bright sound as well. Let's take a listen. Thanks for watching folks. My name's Shane. I'm gonna give you my thoughts about this particular pedal and then also talk about how it varies from the Beekeeper. So in my opinion, this has to my ear more top end than the Beekeeper. I think the EQ system on this is a little bit more musical to my ear. It also feels really great in terms of touch dynamic. Now I really like the Beekeeper. I put it as one of the best products of the year last year but this actually feels a little bit more in tune with what I'm playing. Even through my Marshall, I was still able to drastically change the tone of the amp or at lower gain volumes, kind of keep it as it was. So that's really cool too. I can see people using this for a lead boost, also great rhythm guitar sort of parts as well. Great for blues, great for classic rock. You can crank the gain up and get some really good tones. Or if you already have a great dirty tone on your amp and you want a tube boost pedal, you can run this as well. So there's a number of different ways you can run this, but I just had it going into the front end of my amp back there and it worked extremely well. So let us know what you think of this. Overall, I'm impressed. I like the fact it also comes with its own power supply as well. So you don't need to fork out for an extra power supply. Thanks again for watching. Catch you soon. See ya.